we have stigmatized substance use disorder in America. In the past uh, year, uh, a friend of mine in Memphis actually committed suicide. This was an individual who had struggled with alcohol and drug addiction issues for really 30 years or more. And at the end of, uh, at the end of his life, decided that he just simply couldn't do it anymore. And this was an individual who was a minister. He performed the wedding for me and my wife. I think one of the biggest challenges is just us at the health department. There's only so much we can do. Shelby County has about 940,000 residents. We're one of the largest cities in Tennessee. Our EMS responders are going out about eight times a day uh, on average for an, a response to an, a drug overdose. Now we're seeing that we're actually having more overdose deaths um, than car accidents. So it's, it's definitely a real issue. Our main role in the substance use disorder response is to convene and collaborate with many partners in the community. Our coalition has about 40 to 50 different partners, which includes law enforcement, first responders from seven municipalities, but also the treatment community, the academic community, the um, prevention community, harm reduction. ODMAP is a tool that lets us see the epidemic unfold as it's occurring and also helps our entire coalition pinpoint areas of our community that are experiencing more overdoses than other areas. We can detect spikes, and when something has changed, then we're able to say, wait a minute, something is going on in the community. We can share that information with the Prevention Coalition. ODMAP has been great, and it really doesn't pose any issues against HIPAA. There are little to no costs involved. Over 3,000 agencies across the country are using this tool right now. ODMAP is allowing us to see what's happening you know, on a day-to-day -day basis and also watch for spikes in activity and be able to notify the community about those. It can be discouraging at times, but if we didn't have this program, there's no way we would even be able to address it in the ways that we're addressing it now. 45 people are alive today who, statistically speaking, we would have expected to die without the work of the coalition. Some of the stories are heartbreaking, some of the stories are tragic, but we also see the opportunities that are being realized in responding to this epidemic.